Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to the EDI Jester, the channel thereof. How we doing? Right? There used to be this thing years ago called summer. <laughs> What's wrong with it? So British to moan about the weather, you know? To my Australian, Canadian, Singaporean, anybody else who's watching, the Brits moan about the weather a lot. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, so there doesn't seem to be much going on. I'm looking out the window and it's like, yeah, not summer. Feels more like autumn. Autumnal. It's autumnal, right? It's just, it's weird. Can you imagine this, what it was like at the beginning of Die Hard 3? Remember Die Hard 3 with the bloke with the bombs, Simon Says? And it started with a song, didn't it? Imagine that. Hot time, summer in the city. Uh, excuse me. Because <laughs> there is no summer, also it appears. Now, what have I got for you today? There are many, 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 many wibbling falsity gibbons in the trans rights activist movement. But there are a few that we would say are, if you will, wibbling falsity gibbons of great repute. As in, I'm the king of the swingers. Oh, and... We've got one today, who I found a couple of articles about, on the same day. So, if I could have found one more, we'd have had a hat-trick. But we haven't, right? Now, this particular falsity gibbon is called Mahiri Black, right? And she's a SNP. And she's got form, this one. She has, right? But this takes the biscuit. God. The Scottish people need to deal with this woman. <laughs> right. Sky, Sky, Mahari Black, right? Gender critics akin to white supremacists claims SNP's Mahari Black. Right, that's because we all go out with, you know, white pointy hats in it, Mahari. Yep. No, absolute lunatic, right? The Scottish Nationalists Deputy Westminster Leader accuses bad actors of hijacking debate over transgender rights. <sighs> you just think to yourself, you know, this one of the high priestesses, which is what she is. One, my warrior teachers will get that illusion, which is what she is, right? So, um, gender critical campaigners are comparable to white supremacists, the SNP's Deputy Westminster Leader has claimed. Mihari Black said that bad actors and 50-year-old Karens this woman is a walking nightmare, isn't she? Eh? 50 year old character, so she's an ageist. Right? She also has no sense of history. Um, and probably speaks like a condescending twat. So these bad actors and 50 year old Karens, as she said, were responsible for the debate over transgender rights. Do you think so? Mahari Black? Right? Really? Or do you think it's, you know, LARPing men and women invading the spaces of males and females? Really? You think that's what it is? Or just people pretending there's something they're not? Yep, or creating an entire category of people based upon a mental illness. Which is it, Mahari? The public must know. Unbelievable, right? And suggested those who vocally disagreed with their topics on such issues could not be decent people. Well, there you go. That's 50% of the population done. Because that's how many people will agree with us once they get it finally. Mahari Black. Unbelievable. In comments likely to deepen an already bitter divide in Scotland. That's me Chibata's ready. In Scotland. <laughs> Here it beep. Come and get your bread. In Scotland, right? Um, she said those who made intellectual arguments against extending trans rights were akin to past generations who claimed non-white ethnic groups were inferior. She's accusing us of being eugenicists while the ones she supports are practicing eugenics. They are what they say they are not. They project that which they are onto others. How have we got to the point where idiots like this even get anywhere near a political position? They say that the, that the country gets the government it deserves, and you have to ask yourself whether the people therefore get the MPs they deserve. She's a reprehensible piece of work. This has got to be, this has got to be against the Nolan principles. There's got to be something in it because you can't just sit around saying rubbish like this, Mahari. For, for Women Scotland, a prominent gender critical campaign group who've done great work in the, in the Scottish field, not a Scottish field, but in the Scottish, you know what I mean, right? <clears throat> Claimed that the MP's comments call into question her fitness for office. I agree. This woman is basically not fit for office. She's an orifice, not fit for office. <laughs> That's what I say, right? 
Speaking at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, Miss Black said, Once upon a time, you had intellectuals who made these big prolific statements about how race was a key factor. Bloody hell. <laughs> She's comparing gender critical people to the eugenicist movement. <laughs> There's your average moment with a cup of tea. Right? So I was, doing, I was working with some warrior teachers yesterday, and everybody arrives in the room like they do on Zoom and Teams and all that stuff. And the first thing they did was the other, what are you knitting this week? And they're, well, I'm knitting this. And she's accusing these people who are just basically worried mums and worried grands, right? And worried granddads and worried dads, right? She's accusing them of being as, the same as the eugenicists. The same as the people that are trying to prove that race is inferior. I just... What, so what are you knitting today? Well, I've gone for a nice white cowl. I thought we'd do it in wool. <laughs> Mihari Black, you are a total lunatic. Lunatic woman. You have no idea. Talk to some people. Idiot. Oh, it's just unreal. They, uh, <clears throat> they argued, I think you'll find statistics show that if you have more BAME, black, Asian and minority ethnic people, crime goes up or whatever it is. We now rightly look about that and back on that and go, you were a racist. You might be an intellectual, but what you were saying was racist. Well, let's make some nice, really simplified comments. Of course, there was a huge problem with racism in America. Over here, we used to have the problem with it as well. But to compare the fact that women are going, get that man out of my space, to people that wanted to exclude black people, you know, and people who are from... from, from Asia or from wherever it may, is utterly reprehensible. Mehari Black. Right? Who should get some flack? <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you're not... Well, it's just, it's just, it's all, it's all, the, all the nonsense we've seen rolled into one um, Scottish-speaking human lump. If you're not educating yourself on the things, then you can't complain when people from minority say you're not treating us right. And that's exactly what's happening with the trans community right now. I think you may have taken that too far, Ian Mahari. <laughs> Twit. Right. Define trans. Let's start there. Because nobody has yet. Right. She added, they are definitely bad actors at play who are radicalising people who are vulnerable. They are radicalising people who are, uh, 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 who are too online. So... So when you get together for Women's Scotland, Women's Rights Network, Sex Matters, Transgender Trade, whoever it may be, you go right to have a meeting. So all of us that are going into the LGB Alliance meeting are be, have been radicalised by Bev, <laughs> who's been online stalking chat rooms, looking for vulnerable men in their 50s. <laughs> My name's Mahari Black and I'm a moron. <laughs> we need some anti-Mahari dust. Oh, that just reminded me of, of a strange little story. What was that story about Kenneth? Oh, that's Kenneth Williams. Where he said, you know, he had to go on stage, right? And he was doing a, like a sort of, a short sort of 30, 30 second snippet that was meant to be funny. And who was he doing it with? Stanley Baxter, who was a star from years ago. To my American cohorts, you're not going to understand this, the Canadians and most of the Brits won't because it's too old. But I'm telling it anyway, right? <clears throat> and Kenneth had to jump on stage, right? And this bloke was sat there reading a book. And he'd jump on stage and he'd have to pretend that he was throwing something around the stage. At which point Stan Baxter would say to him, what are you doing? And Kenneth would say, I am sprinkling dust. I am sprinkling waffle dust to scare the wild elephants. <laughs> At which point Stanley Baxter would say, there are no wild elephants around here. At which point Kenneth would say, that's okay, this isn't real waffle dust. <laughs> Genius, and that was a joke. And on the night, Kenneth started doing it, and Stanley wound him up. And Kenneth went like this around the stage, throwing this glitter everywhere. And, it, and Stanley Baxter said nothing. <laughs> and Kenneth got frustrated, and he whispered out the side of his mouth, "Ask me, ask me, ask me what I am." To which Stanley Baxter replied, "Oh, we all know what you are, dear." <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know why that came to mind, but it did. So. This is this wibbling woman, Mahari Black. You have to go and have a look, right? So there's two articles for you to have a look at today. Well, I just can't read anymore. She's such an idiot. <coughs> so two articles, one from the Times and the other one from a Scottish paper. So I put, I'm going to put them both in the, in the doobris for you to have a look at because it's just amazing to me that this woman has ever been anywhere near the position of being in Parliament. Now, by all accounts, she's standing down. Yep, 
And here's one of the statements as to why she should, and soon. Being trans is not something to be feared, it's just an aspect of human being, the same way being gay is just an aspect of who I am. Wrong. Wrong. Mahari Black. Wrong. The only place, as far as I'm concerned, that my sex matters as opposed to my gender is in a medical setting. That's between me and a doctor. Yep. Yep. When that LARPing bloke pretending to be a lesbian attempts to put his willy in you, you know, orally in you, or anally, or wherever the hell it may be going, in your ear, right, or slapping it on your chin, tell me then sex doesn't matter. Because I reckon, Mahari Black, I reckon, you're a tur I, I reckon you're a TRA in the streets and a turf in the sheets. You're lying Vichy, traitorous lesbian. Go well. Go and have a read. Tell me if you think that Muhari Black is, in fact, a nutter. Go well.